dear fourth semester electrical and electronics uh, stream students welcome back into my channel hope you are all doing well and hope you have completed your internal examination now it is the time to prepare for your external examination that is why i am with the passing package for your first core subject that is electric motors okay as your examinations are very near now so you should be fully prepared for the subjects uh, in order to uh, clear the subjects in the first attempt itself okay so let me discuss here some passing modules first of all let's start with the model fifth which is a passing module if you cover this much portion you will at least get 15 marks okay or sometimes uh, 20 marks also so this is uh, explain the working uh, characteristics and applications of a uh, universal motor with neat sketch explain the construction and operation of a linear induction motor explain the operation of synchronous motor at constant load and uh, variable excitation with phasor diagrams and also vice versa means sometimes they will give you the operation of syn uh, synchronous motor at variable load and constant excitation hope you got it next is uh, what is stepper motor explain the construction and working principle of variable reluctance stepper motor with a neat sketch a sketch uh, and explain v curves and inverter v curves of synchronous motor super important one and explain the, uh, with neat sketch the construction working characteristics and applications of ac servo meter so these are the six questions which you have to cover from the module fifth okay so next passing module is model four in which you have to cover questions like with a neat diagram explain the construction and operation of capacitor start one phase induction or single phase induction motor right next is list the different methods of starting a scale cage induction motor and explain star delta starter of three phase induction motor with a suitable circuit diagram describe the construction and working of shaded pole motors mention its applications Describe any two methods of speed control of three-phase induction motor. Explain the double field revolving theory as applied to single-phase induction motor and prove that it cannot produce any starting torque. This is super important question from the model fourth. What is necessity of starter for a three-phase induction motor? With neat sketch, explain construction, working and applications of split phase induction motor okay so up to this this was the theoretical portions from model fifth and model four so you should not uh, be worried uh, worried about the numerical part from these two models you can only go through the theoretical portions as i mentioned okay next is from module second you are onwards you have to practice some numericals and also i will mention which papers you have to refer okay first of all let me discuss here theoretical questions from module second derive a torque equation for three phase induction motor and derive condition for maximum torque discuss the complete torque slip characteristics of a three phase induction motor including motoring generating and braking regions these are the two super important questions from model to theoretical questions as far as numericals are concerned so you should refer 18 ee 44 paper okay so you can search in the google itself 18 ee 44 you will get the previous year papers if you are unable to get other papers i will upload all previous year uh, question papers so that you can practice the numericals from model second model first and model third okay so next is model first that is passing model model again explain the uh, seven burns test to determine no load losses of a dc machine what are the limitations of this test describe the field test applied to two similar dc series motors derive the torque equation of a dc motor and explain the characteristics of dc series motor what is back emf and its significance what is necessity of starter and explain the operation of three point starter or sometimes they will give you four point starter so you should be prepared with a circuit diagrams explain speed control methods for dc shunt motor derive the condition for maximum efficiency in a dc motor so if you are convenient with the numerical part so you should refer the numericals as i earlier mentioned which paper you have to uh, refer over here so next is from model third you have to go through these theoretical questions like explain the phenomena of cogging and crawling in a three-phase induction motor describe the constructional features of a double cage and deep bar routers of three-phase induction motors and explain its operation explain the procedure of conducting no load and blocked rotor tests on three-phase induction motor with neat circuit diagrams write a short note on induction generator starting from fundamentals develop the equivalent circuit of a three-phase induction motor okay and also uh, for numericals you should refer the same okay so these are the important super important questions which i discussed in this particular video so refer these important questions otherwise syllabus is washed we cannot cover each and every topic uh, 
so better to go for these important questions in order to pass the subject okay and uh, you should also practice some numericals i will provide the, provide the papers later on if you are not able to get if you are unable to get papers so let me know in the comment section so that i will upload those papers on my instagram account i wish you all the best for your examination i hope you kill it this time okay so make sure you will share this video to all your friends so that uh, they can also take benefits from these important questions thank you